obeying God for our own sake. Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is important in life. Obeying God, it sounds very old-fashioned and not really attractive. It sounds as if we have to labor a lot and who knows what we get back. But actually it is opposite. As we all know, by doing good, we can never be good enough. On the scale of good and bad, we always have far more weight on the bad side. Our guilt, our sin, what we have done wrong, where we have not obeyed, is always far greater than what we can work, what we can do good, what we can contribute. Whatever is the factor, maybe 10,000, 100,000, but we know by far we can never do good enough to outweigh what we have done wrong and what is our wrong being. But the good news is God has given us everything for free. He wants to let us participate in his kingdom nevertheless, even though we are bad people, full of guilt, but he has sent Jesus his son. For free we are saved, if we just put our trust in him. And what shall we do then? What can we do at all? What is our part? We read in First Samuel chapter 12, verse 14. All will go well with you if you honor the Lord your God. Serve him, listen to him, and obey his commandments. And if you and your king follow him. But if you do not listen to the Lord, but disobey his commands, he will be against you and your king. So for us, personally and also on a level of a country or a nation or a tribe, we shall try to obey the Lord as we can and trust him. And also in Romans chapter 16, verse 17, I urge you, my friends, watch out for those who cause divisions and upset people's faith and go against the teaching which you have received. Keep away from them. For those who do such things are not serving Christ our Lord, but their own appetites. By their fine words and flattering speech, they deceive innocent people. Everyone has heard of your loyalty to the gospel, and for this reason I am happy about you. I want you to be wise about what is good, but innocent in what is evil. And God, our source of peace, will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. The major point is, the grace of the Lord be with us. If, he, if his grace is with us, then everything will go well. And then it is easy for us to follow. Lord, we thank you that you make it so easy for us. We thank you every day for your grace and for your mercy, for all good that you do, even where we have done wrong. You still love us and help us. You forgive us. And we ask that you show us what we shall do, in what kind we shall, what kind of way we shall obey to you. Help us to put our trust in you and to follow you through all good and bad times. We thank you for this good news, for this gospel that you have brought, that despite everything that seems hopeless, you have opened the gate for free, as a free gift to us. Thank you for your big presence. And we pray that you may guide us through this life into your eternal kingdom, where we praise your holy name forever. Amen.